Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about bitmaps. So there's been tons of hype with bitmaps recently. The floor has doubled in price. The volume is looking really good and things are just looking good in general. Also with the development, they're working really hard and releasing new things by the day. And they just announced phase two of bitmaps, which is going to involve parcels. And I'm going to explain what those are in this video. And I'm also going to show you how to inscribe parcels and how to tap them. So it's all important things you need to know. Otherwise you could uh, lose your bitmap or your parcels and obviously you don't wanna lose anything since the value of bitmaps are going up decently. So first up, let's have a look at Ordinal's wallet and some stats about how bitmaps are doing in general. So you can see here, um, yeah, as usual on Ordinal's wallet, this is where you can buy some bitmaps. The green ones are the ones listed for sale. So I need to refresh the site quickly. But anyway, so I clicked on that bitmap and uh, that's the one that's for sale there. If we go back to bitmaps, the green ones are the ones listed for sale. So you click on one, you can see how much it's for sale for and you can check all of them. Obviously, the ones that are really early here will be very expensive since those are the most valuable ones and there's other ones which are really valuable anyways let's have a look at uh, magic eden quickly and have a look at how uh, the stats are doing for bitmap so if we have a look at the floor price it's 0 0.000475 bitcoin which is around 15 dollars total volumes almost 15 bitcoin which is really a lot total listed is 12.3k and there's over 20,000 holders now which is really good that number's been going up that's always important Total supply is obviously the number of blocks there are at the moment. That's around 800,000. And I believe the parcel supply, you can see here, is around 900 million. So what the parcel is, it's made up of all the transactions of a block. So if one block has 10,000, well, let's say 1,000 transactions, then that's 1,000 parcels, part of your bitmap. And your bitmap seen as a district with uh, the blocks and residences, so to speak, are the different parcels. So that's really interesting what they have coming up for the Bitcoin metaverse. And it's a really good way to onboard the masses because you can almost look at it as kind of tokens in a way. I mean, if there's 800,000 tokens, each token is going to be quite expensive. You know how it works with tokenomics and crypto in general. But in this case, there's going to be 800 or 900 million tokens or parcels which you can buy and sell so it's really interesting to see how this is going to work and much more people can get in it's going to they're going to see it as being cheaper as well to get in you can buy parcels for probably a couple of cents even so it's all really interesting what they've been doing and the development's really looking super pro so anyways let's uh, move on already i showed you guys this so bitmap hit over twenty thousand holders as i said so that's also really bullish the more holders the better obviously the more people that are in the bigger the community the bigger the growth so next up let's look at the very important part of how you can inscribe your parcels and to tap them both very important processes if you want to do that firstly the question is should you inscribe the parcels and the answer to that is you don't need to at the moment there's no reason to do it really right now uh, you might as well wait until more info comes out on how everything's going to work. So there's no need to personally. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait and see. And uh, people argue that the parcels can be worth more than the bitmap since you're selling smaller pieces individually and you can sell it more than uh, what the one will cost altogether. So that is one way to look at it for the future. But personally, I'll be keeping my bitmap until I see more information. But I will be doing one inscription and showing you guys how it works and how you need to uh, do that. And another reason you might want to inscribe the parcel is if you want to transfer parts of your districts, which are different transactions as part of the blocks, to other people. So if you want to do that and transfer a part of your block to other people, then that's a reason why you would uh, inscribe your parcel. So the first thing you'll want to do is check which bitmaps you own. So I own this 465661. So I'm just going to click go on this and I'll show you over here. So here's 465661. And as you can see, my wallet's connected, my Unisat wallet, and it says you are the owner of the district. One thing to consider is it's supported by Unisat wallet at the moment, because when you tap the parcel, that basically means you have to send it to yourself. I'll go over this in more detail later. But 
Xverse Wallet does not support this. So you can't use that. So what I'd recommend if you have Xverse Wallet, you can send the bitmap from Xverse to Unisat and then you can do the tapping process because the tapping process is very important. And if you don't do it, your bitmap and parcels are considered as fake. So, well, the parcels specifically. So don't make that mistake. So anyways, let's move on now. So here is my bitmap. As you can see, I'm the owner of this district. You can see there's three different colors at the top selected. So once I click on select here, I can choose which parcel that I want to inscribe. So if I just click it, it'll turn green. So green means it's selected. And once you inscribe it, it's going to be blue, which is untapped. And then once you tap it, it's going to turn purple. So that's the goal here. So I'm going to just inscribe four random or let's make a letter U over there. So that's pro. So I'm going to inscribe these parcels. Then simply click on Inscribe Selected. And then there'll be a pop-up here. Make sure you disable your ad blockers uh, just in case. Then you can see a bitmap block and all the parcels that I want to inscribe. Then you don't need to do anything with all the settings. Uh, nothing to do here. There will be a default developer tip once you click Inscribe, which as you can see is 5,700 sats, which is a dollar. So that's all good. And then you click Inscribe. So it says here, please send at least 29,287 sats uh, to the address below. So that's how much Bitcoin I need to send. So I'm going to copy this address. I'm going to go to my Unisat wallet. I'm going to click on send, paste the recipient. I'm going to make it fast, actually a bit faster, just so for the sake of the video. Then I'm going to click on the amount and that has to be 0. 0002927. So then I just click next, sign and pay. So now the payment has been sent and it says do not close this window and wait for every step to complete. So as you can see, it's picked up already that funds are on the way and now I just need to wait. So I'm going to wait and I'll skip forward to once it's actually look at that before I could even finish my sentence. So you can see here, all the inscriptions are popping up and you can see all the transactions and on Ordinal Explorer. So I'm just gonna wait for all that to populate. Okay, so I actually stopped recording and I waited about 20 minutes for the transactions to confirm. But as you can see, if I go to my Unisat wallet, here you can see all the different parcels of that bitmap. And you can see here it has turned blue, which means inscribed but untapped. So now I'm going to have to tap those ones. So how do you do that? So it's really simple as well. What you'll do is you'll open your Unisat, copy your own address. Then you'll want to find that specific bitmap, which is the 465661. So I just need to scroll down, find that bitmap. Here it is. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click send. I'm going to put my own address. Then uh, output value, just leave that. Fee, I'm actually going to put that even faster just because I have to wait 20 minutes for that and I don't want to wait 20 minutes again. So just going to wait for that. Before I send it, let me explain to you why you need to tap it. So the tapping process is to prevent front running. So if I sell you my bitmap, I could quickly claim all of the parcels before you get the bitmap and then you'll receive it and the bitmap will actually be worthless because all the parcels are owned by me. Also, if you have valid parcels and you sell your bitmap, the parcels stay in your wallet and you continue to own them. However, if you have untapped inscriptions in your wallet and you sell your bitmap, you have no way of tapping your inscriptions and they will remain invalid and it will allow the new owner to inscribe and tap them. So keep that in mind with regards to tapping it. So next. So now I'm going to sign and pay. And then I'm probably going to have to wait another 10, 15 minutes. So once this is done, I'm going to check back and this should be turned purple, which means I've inscribed and tapped it. So I'll be right back once that is purple. So now it's been 20 minutes later approximately, and you can see here that it is tapped. The parcels changed to purple. So that is all done and I've completed the process successfully. And you can see it's really simple and straightforward to do. So I think the future for bitmaps is really bright. The Bitcoin metaverse is going to be huge with bitmaps. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Always appreciate that. And I'll be sharing more videos in the futures of all the alpha possible in crypto. 
Also follow me on Twitter and join Telegram. If you're in my Telegram, you'll find uh, this alpha even earlier actually than my videos because we're always discussing these new things in there and then I will make a video on it. So definitely join that. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.